Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. What, uh, what can you tell the good people today? What's going on? What are you doing? We need to start over again? <laughs> no, no, we're good. Okay, we're good. Because they're, they're good people. They, they are good people. So what we've got is a great Sunday coming up. Uh, the 24th will be our first Sunday back. It will. And we're going to be having two services. The first one's going to be at 9 o'clock. Uh, the second one is going to be at 1030. And uh, we hope that you have notified the office which service you're going to be coming to so we can be better making plans about uh, what your needs will be once you get here. We'd like to give you a couple of uh, heads ups that I think will make uh, your time uh, easier for you and your family as you navigate coming back on campus, but also keep us safe. Yeah. Uh, and that starts with, uh, we're going to be encouraging you to use both the, the back entrance as well as the front entrance only. Uh, the lower entrance that's over by the pavilion will be closed off completely. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the east side entrance will also be closed. So the only entrances that will be available will be the back entrance and the front entrance. And Vanna uh, is doing a good job of showing you which one uh, that you need to uh, be a part of. So uh, once you come in, though, uh, please note that uh, we're going to have some incredible tables here for our seniors. And if you've got a gift that you want to bring or you've got a card for them, Please drop that off quickly in the, uh, the baskets here. We would invite you to come back if you wanted to linger and see a little bit more about uh, who they have been and uh, what their plans are for college. Come back and do that during the middle of the week. You'll have uh, all the room that you want and also all the time that you want, but we're gonna encourage you to just drop those off. Make your way into the worship center uh, and that enables us to keep this atrium free and flowing. And that's, that's, a, that's a huge priority for us as we come in to worship. Um, but we're hoping that people will help us out with that. Yeah, we've got 11 seniors um, uh, from Medina and from uh, Kerrville that are just, they're excited and they're excited about uh, graduating. And so this is just a great place. We do this every year. Uh, done it before I got here. And it's just a great tradition that this church has to uh, honor their seniors. And like you said, this right here is a mailbox. Please write them a note and uh, and just uh, put put something in there for them. Uh, a congratulations, a love offering, uh, whatever you want to. Now this right here, the elevator says do not use because downstairs, again, we are going to have that blocked off. We're, we're asking you not to use uh, those doors, just that door and that door. So the elevator is not in use. So no sense in, in coming that way. we got a couple of more instructions we want to share with you uh, before we let you go. And so we're going to move into the auditorium. Let's go. All right, we're back. We're back. We're here. All right, well, let me share a couple of quick instructions, and then we'll let you go uh, that I think will uh, be a little bit easier for coming into the auditorium and also exiting the auditorium. You'll notice we've got the chair set up a little bit differently. Again, that's to encourage some social distancing. We've got this row closed off, uh, and so if you came into the first service, you'd be seated here. We're going to encourage you to sit as family units and stay as family units, uh, not, not getting up and moving around the auditorium. But you, we're welcoming you to visit while you're here, just keeping two uh, seats on either side. If you're, if you're a couple, then you'll, be, you'll you'd sit uh, here and then the, the seats on, uh, two seats on either side. But uh, the reason why we've got these configured this way is because when the service is done, I'm going to be asking each row to stand up uh, as a group and then be moving out. And then we'll dismiss you by rows again to help encourage the social distancing. And when you leave, uh, please make your way again through the uh, atrium, out to the exits, and then outside, visit all you want, as long as you want, uh, and just have a blast doing that. But the reason why we've got these configured this way is because as soon as services are done, we're gonna be getting set up for the second service, and Ricky will show you a little bit about what that's gonna look like. Yeah, I kinda like uh, what Raymond talked about during our instructional video. We're actually gonna open the aisles that were closed and close the aisles that were open. So it'll then leave space for people to come and this row used to be closed, but now it's open, and that, that way you're not sitting in the same seat that somebody else just sat in. Absolutely. But again, uh, and, and the instructional video is pretty thorough and all that, so just know that this is our plan, but when you exit quickly, that gives us time to set up for the 1030 assembly. Another thing, Jimmy, Raymond talked about this. I love this phrase. He said, if you feel like you're at risk or you feel it would be risky for you, don't risk it. That's exactly right. And so, but there, I mean, the people of this congregation love the Lord so much, but is it okay to skip church? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and the, God understands that, that for each individual, this is a set of circumstances that has impacted them uniquely. 
Uh, and we want you to respect that and to honor that as, as he's speaking into your heart. Uh, you can worship God in an honoring way at home. We're going to do our best to provide a copy of today's service, our Sunday service. Yeah, it should be up on the Internet. It should be up that evening, but for sure by the next morning. So we'll post that on our church Facebook pages. And so if you're on Facebook, you'll know that. If not, just uh, check back on our YouTube channel. So it'll be it Nobody be gets any more heaven points because they're actually at the assembly. Uh, we, we want us all to be the church wherever we're at. We've been one church in about 150 different locations. Uh, we're just having the chance finally to be able to, to worship together and bring that worship to uh, KCC. It's good stuff. Clark's going to have a little bag for all the kids. They'll be able to work with that. We're not going to be using the quiet bags. How come? Uh, well, the cloth uh, grabs germs and likes to hold on to them, but every kid's going to get their own bag, and they're going to get to take that home with them, and so it's going to be, I think, a plastic bag. Sure. So, well, one so. other thing I'd like to remind them of is as far as Sunday's message, um, be looking into the first three chapters of Exodus. Uh, there is a, um, a shepherd there that got fired up, and uh, we're going to be talking about him and how that uh, uh, moment changed his life. The series we're continuing is Didn't See That Coming. Well, I can guarantee you this shepherd didn't see this event coming in his life. Awesome. Well, I'm going to ask you to lead us in a prayer as we prepare, as our families prepare to, to start making their way. And this, there's a lot of travel going on this okay. weekend anyway with Memorial Day. So just uh, if you'd finish this out in a prayer about that as we look into those first three chapters of, um, of Exodus, start marinating our hearts on that for Sunday, and then just come in ready to praise together. You got it. Lord, thank you. Uh, thank you for finally the opportunity to be able to gather together as a family. We realize that there are those who would love to be here but just don't feel like uh, the time is right. And we so respect that. Uh, please help them to feel comfortable to be able to stay at home until they do feel uh, led by you to be able to join us again. Uh, we're so grateful for all of the um, Christians who have helped us during this time to navigate, uh, putting together the videos that we've presented. Um, and thank you for their expertise. Thank you for their, their encouragement. Uh, continue to bless the, the, the church here in Kerrville and around the globe as they put their lives back together in so many ways. Uh, and we know it's going to be a different normal. Uh, and we ask you to continue to lead us um, in a way that reflects your son, no matter uh, how we worship and where we worship. We truly do want to be the church. And uh, you have made that possible because of the incredible love you've poured into our lives through Jesus and we just want to say thank you for that. And as we take these next steps to, um, to meet together, please lead us and take care of, uh, of those who can't be here. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Boom. All right, bud. See ya. Yeah. Think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. How can I forget His love? Think about his love, think about his goodness, think about his grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. Think about his love, think about his goodness, 
Think about His grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love, His love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. Oh. 